because you're, you've got this pride 15 years of being a magistrate who trained you the judicial officers i don't want you i don't want you to drive me to racism i'm sorry please oh, but you are trained by <laughs> apartheid mechanism trained yeah. institutions <laughs> you know what let me just here tell you a, a little story there's an advocate now there was an attorney who was a black attorney who was being uh, there was an application to, uh, to strike him off the roll because he has not uh, uh, complied with the legal profession. I had to represent him. The papers were already drawn. The papers were saying this court is an apartheid uh, regime court. The judges are apartheid, are racist. I'm not supposed to be subjected to them. The first thing that the judge asked me, I said to him, how, how do you draft papers like this? And then he said, no, Togota, I want you to represent me. Then it's the first thing that the judge asked me, Mrs. Togota, these papers, do you agree with them? I said, no, I don't. I don't agree with that. Apartheid and no apartheid. The law is law. If it was apartheid law, it was law at that stage. And everybody had to go along that law. We, not that you liked it. You didn't have, you, even now, I cannot guarantee that everybody likes the law. You only like the law when it is in your favor. When it's not in your favor, say, ooh, this government. That's what happens in life. But you're an apartheid magistrate. Well, call me what you like. I was working at that stage, but I can tell you one thing I can tell you. I gained the experience. And you were trained by apartheid government to be a magistrate. Ah, call it what you like. And... Uh, uh, <clears throat> You didn't see anything wrong with that apartheid training. Let's assume I see something wrong. What should I have done? Should I have said, I'm not going to be a magistrate in this era because you are apartheid. Shouldn't I have done, should I have done that? I'm asking, you were trained by apartheid regime to be a magistrate. Was there something wrong with that apartheid system? The law is the law. So it's not for me. I don't make laws. Parliament makes laws. The court, even though those apartheid laws, they were not uh, rigidly enforced by some judges, for example. Some judges didn't agree. They, that's where you have an opportunity as a judge to develop the law. These days it's even better because there's constitution. Anything which is inconsistent with the constitution, then it's bad law. You don't apply it. So it's no use taking us back to the apartheid. Even the customary law, as long as it is consistent with the Bill of Rights, then, <laughs> then you can apply it. It's, 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 it's permissible in law, it's permissible in terms of the Constitution, but if you want to change it, you change it only in, in accordance with the Bill of Rights. As you round up, Commissioner Malema. Was there something wrong with apartheid? Yes. What have you done? What do you expect me to do as a magistrate? To strike and say there's something wrong here? Yeah? Thank you, CJ. <laughs> Thank you, Commissioner. <clears throat> um, you still want to? Commissioner Nzebeza? <clears throat> um, <clears throat> Thank you, Chief Justice. Um, Advocate Togota. I just wanted to follow up on uh, on your on your time as a magistrate in the in the Eastern Cape. <coughs> Those of us who were practicing in that place at that time were astounded by certain decisions that you took given that you were a magistrate and they seemed at a time like that that they were going against the grain one was when it appeared you were being ordered by the Pandustan minister to call
complete a trial and you took a position, I want you to tell us in your own words how you decided that. Thank you, Commissioner Sabeza. I remember very well. That time, there was a change in the apartheid regime where they created tricameral parliament. Yes. And then the black students embarked on strikes in the sky. I was a magistrate in Pedi then. And then they were arrested. In Zwelicha, I was phoned by the Minister of Justice then that at that stage in Bisho, we went to the uh, Amatola Sun Hotel, had dinner there. He said to me, Togota, I want you to go and preside in the matter in Zwelicha tomorrow. And I want you to finalize that matter so that you can teach those students a lesson so that those strikes shouldn't uh, spread uh, throughout the country. I said, no, it's fine, no problem. Have you got a judicial appointment? He said, yes, you'll find it there. I said, fine. Because if you go to another district, then you must have a special judicial appointment for that case. I said, no, fine, Minister. I'll go there and preside. He said, you, you see to it that you finalize the matter. I went there. Even though there was no constitution, we still have uh, some human rights in some way. I explained their rights. They wanted legal representation. Mr. Nell was prosecuting. Yes, Mr. Nell, any objection to bail? I want to grant them uh, the, uh, the right to go and look for legal representation. Mr. Nell says, no objection, 50 rand bail, go. Quarter past nine, I was in Mr. Kennisler's office, the chief magistrate. said, have you finished it? Yes. Oh, no, you can't. said, how can you finish such a long time? So they want a legal representation. What must I do? I'm finished for the day. I must go back to my district. Then the next thing, the following day, it was in the headlines at the dispatch, daily dispatch, the paper there. The TG phoned me. Mr. Togot, what happened? When that matter? I say, yeah, you didn't finish. I said, I finished the day for the day. I granted them bail. I had to write, give them a right to legal representation. Whew, then I was in trouble with that. But to cut a long story, I found them not guilty in terms of Section 174 of the Criminal Procedure Act. There was also the <clears throat> incident which also received worldwide, I mean, not worldwide, quite prominent attention about the liquor licenses. That one was also very interesting. We were called as district, I was a chief magistrate in Pedi, and the minister and the DG were the shareholders of the Pedi Hotel. And then parliament passed the regulation act which legalized liquor licenses. So you could get a license at the counter. As, as a magistrate, you were the representative of the government, all the departments, and the revenue office was in my office. So people were had bought licenses, and then if you go to a restaurant, you find a liquor in the fridge, everywhere else, liquor was readily available. Then the sales in the hotel dropped. Where the minister and the DG Where the shares. minister, and, yes. And then, <laughs> then we were called, all the magistrates were called. Look, we have asked the president, to repeal that proclamation, by proclamation, that act of parliament. I said, but minister, you can't repeal a, a act of parliament by, pre, by proclamation. The president doesn't have that power. He says, no. Then you must go back, see to it that those people who, have, who are selling liquors in their restaurants, they are arrested and pay admission of guilt. Well, I didn't say anything. We went back. People, the, the, people the, the, the next thing, following day, a lot of admissions of guilt, I refused to accept them. I said, I'm not going to sign any admission of guilt. If you say these people are guilty, take them to criminal court. In any event, in my view, that proclamation is invalid, not only because it has been pro pro promulgated by the president to repeal an act of parliament, but because... Those people have acquired rights before this proclamation. You can't just take them away like this. So I'm not going to obey this. You know what happened thereafter? I was charged with misconduct. What happened thereafter? Every lawyer came to my rescue. No, we know what's going on, Togota. 
The hearing took 30 minutes and I was found not guilty. I was defended by advocates and everybody because they knew my stand is like this. That's why I'm saying, when I look at the facts, you cannot politically manipulate me. <laughs> Whether you call it <laughs> up <or down. laughs> well, I, I, I thought that I thought that that should balance. I rest I rest my case. <laughs>